way that you think about playing defense and playing offense and being very careful about when is a, a time for defense and when is a time for offense. And, um, you know, doing both at the same time, you just have to be careful what actions are for which thing. And Ruloff, I want to dive in on defense right now. You guys have been putting out a reasonable amount of, of content compared to sort of Sequoia of old. Um, and one of the pieces that you publish for entrepreneurs is this decision matrix. Mm -hmm. And I, I would sort of think about this as defense. H how should entrepreneurs use that? And then I'm, I'm curious to ask you some questions about offense. Sure. So um, I want to give credit to one of our CFOs uh, in the portfolio. He you know, doesn't want to be singled out and named, but he developed this for uh, a portfolio company where I happen to be on the board for Sequoia. And I thought it was an incredible structure. In that case, the company had sort of seven main scenarios with a couple of sub scenarios. Um, and I just thought it's a wonderful framework to address the challenge you face because we don't know the state of the world. Or there's so yeah. much uncertainty right now, but you know, are we actually going to reopen in three weeks, four weeks, 10 weeks? Is there going to be a second wave? Are, going to be, are there going to be five waves? Is the world going to be in the We don't know. So I thought it was a wonderful way to think about what are the various scenarios that may play out? What are the strategies you could pursue? And what does it do for your resulting cash balance at some future date that is important? And your end is as good as any, I guess, at this point. Because companies need to survive. Cash is is the most important company, most important thing companies have to focus on right now. Because if you don't survive, obviously there's no chance for you to build an enduring business. And so that's the reason I thought this is a fabulous framework. And again, we, we felt we wanted to share it with as many people as possible. Um, and we did actually on, on uh, Friday, we had a, uh, a Q and A session with over a hundred portfolio companies. Uh, several of our partners hosted this call and we shared it with those companies and we just felt then that we wanted to share it with everybody.